We are Steve and Jill. Together, we've been buying and reselling land since the 90s. Our data-centric approach leaves our buyers asking, how can you sell it so cheap? Here on the Land Academy Show, we answer that and more. Steve and Jill here. Hello. Welcome to the Land Academy Show, entertaining land investment talk. I'm Stephen Jack Butella. And I'm Jill DeWitt, broadcasting from the Valley of the Sun. Today, Jill and I, well, it's still Friday, and she's going to talk about... Uh, when have you made enough money in your land business? Exactly. Thank you. Like, when's enough enough? <laughs> That's what we're going to talk about. I love this topic. I mean, I have a lot to say. I know it's still Friday, but I'll uh, I'll zip it as instructed and... <laughs> And talk when Because we me. may have different decisions. We have <laughs> we have different philosophies here. And I I will, I'm happy. We are going to share them both. Before we get into it, let's take a question posted by one of uh, our landinvestors.com online community uh, participants. It's free. Uh, I'll tell you, back in the day, it was nearly impossible to find land without a mailing address, which is most of the properties that we actually are involved in. So to solve this, Jill and I put together over about a year an APN-driven assessor's parcel database uh, so that you can find properties just with the APN mm -hmm. within seconds. And so like all of our products, we built uh, a shabby rickety products for our own use and then polished it all up and web enabled it so that everyone can use it. It's called neighborscoop.com. Check us out at neighborscoop.com. Chase wrote, how many times has someone allowed Oh, I answered this. This is good. You did? I did. How many times is someone allowed a wrong career path? And I wrote back, I said, awesome question, Chase, because we have had past, we we're only on career path number four, and we already have people from career path one, two, and three wanting to go through it again. Yeah. So we came up with a half price program. So if, and if you want to know about that, just send a note to support at landacademy.com because it's a hidden link. Because you have to be a former career path member, so we don't have it published on the website. But you just reach out, and we'll get you the link, and then you can do it again. Because we had changes. I mean, we did career path one at the end of when did we do? It? Oh, we started it in 2021. We did career path one, two, and three. We took the fourth quarter off, and now we just oh, wait one and two. I have to think about this. Three was here in 2022. That's right, and now we're on number four. My main point is. In the, I don't know, eight, nine months since we started Career Path, we've already made some changes. And so that's why people are like, wait a minute, now you're talking about this, and now you brought in this person, now you added these office hours, and now you're doing that and do this. I'd I'll like to go through it again, and you're not nuts. I'll tell you, it's real different. Just this yeah. is what, number five coming up? This is or number four. four. Or number four. So it's pretty different. We keep adding and improving stuff based on uh, the previous uh, course. Mm-hmm. It's wonderful. I Today's still it. Friday. And we're going to talk about when have you made enough money in your land business? This is the meat of the show. You know, this topic came up initially because I was thinking about the people in our community. We have people in our community that do one deal a month. And we have people in our community that do a deal a week uh, and more than that. Uh, multiple a week and all over the, it's all over the map too, as far as their comfort zones and the size of the properties. And when I say, and the, like the dollar amounts, that's really what I mean. So the size, it's like, you know, are they more than $10,000 people or less than $10,000 acquisition people? Are they more than $100,000 acquisition people or less than $100,000 acquisition people? Some people are bringing in some really big, like there, there are some more than million dollar acquisitions, not sales, you know, um, acquisitions that go on uh, with us and within our community. So it's kind of like, what are your goals? There's nothing, there's nothing wrong. You know, some people really, uh, I, I don't know if it's age. I guess this is the whole discussion too. So I, do you want to do whatever you want to do? There's no wrong answer. That's there's the somebody answer. doing it. That's the answer. It's so, all unique. Yeah. It's like some people don't want to work that hard. And I love this. This is my favorite is I always think of Kevin Farrell. Kevin's like, nope, I only do <laughs> consulting this many days a week. This is the window. Mm -hmm. And when it's full, it's full. And because I want to have this, I'm retired. I don't want to work this hard. I love doing X amount of deals a month. Not, I know I could do more. I'm, I'm not doing it. This is where I want to be. And that's it. I'm happy making X. But then there's people that come at it like, 
I'm, I want to have this kind of life. I want to, I'm, I'm, I'm 25 and I want to own, you know, 10 apartment buildings by the time yeah. I'm 30, yep. you know, dream it up. It's really age-driven. And so they go nuts and, and they do it. Personality type driven. They do it. Yeah. They live like they don't have much of a life maybe outside of it, but that's okay. There's no wrong answer. So it's kind of like, you know, so the question is, when have you made enough money in your land business? It's, it's only what you want. So what's interesting for me, and then I'm gonna let you talk, I'm gonna have you share your perspective is we, when we started Land Academy, we did this, our first program was called Cash Flow from Land, $10,000 a month for life. Cause I'm like, you know what? If you can't live on $10,000 a month, there's something wrong. And I still believe that. So do I. So, totally um, believe that. yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, you can live on l a lot less than that too, by the way. But, um, for me, you know, at a, at a time of my life and, you know, even now I'm happy. I could, I could live a very happy life on less than $10,000 a month and be fulfilled, do the travel I want to do and, and, and have everything I want. Uh, so we have obviously, maybe not obviously, I'm telling you, we surpassed that in a big way and it's great and it's awesome, but it does bring up more work, more responsibility. There's just so many more things that go with that, that, um, more taxes. Oh, mm -hmm. hey, it's tax time, everyone. You, if you like me, you just wrote some checks this week. Great. Big checks. Yeah. That's not fun. So that's something you have to think about too. The more you write to the IRS, the more you made. So mm, you got to you gotta think about that. So I think what's funny is you and I have different levels. Like I can remember hitting a level with you and I that I'm like, I'm happy this is it. But you weren't. And that's okay. I'm but we were, not. but I'm still on your team. So I'm like, okay, what do you want to do now? But but I do have a limit that I say, look, I'm happy with these new goals that you want to do, but I don't want to work that hard. So I'll give you 80% or something, you know. <laughs> I'm not kidding. <laughs> this is stuff that we kind of talk about. I'm like, do we really need to do all that? Because I kind of like this. And you, but no, it's good. You're the perfect partner because you'd say to me, all right, well, and I respect oh, that. Oh, I'm the perfect partner today. You are right now. Because <laughs> <laughs> you five minutes, watch. Oh, yeah. In this one situation, you're perfect. <laughs> <laughs> because, well, the last time I said it, you actually did hear me and said, all right, I get it. So how about we do it this way, and this is what I need from you, and I'll handle the rest. Done, done, and done. So what, what, what does this mean to you? I want you to ask you, the listener, yourself, this question and there's in my opinion four stages of wealth this is something i came up with a long time ago it's not something i read in a book and i want you to see because all of you that are listening to this are a lot further than you think here they are stage one you have revenue you know we have children who still don't have any revenue yet <laughs> and so yeah and they don't need it they, they haven't been forced and that's part of being a child it's right. started growing up and becoming a a, a grown-up which meaning for most of it means we, you have a job. Stage one, check, I have a job. Stage two, my job actually pays more than I spend. If you have a job where you're making $5,000 a month and you only spend 2,000 because you're super smart and you're living with a bunch of you know filthy people like which I always did when I was young and, and uh, you have no real expenses at, at all except for maybe a couple cases of beer a month or a week or whatever it is and some and a, and a health insurance policy that you congratulations you've made it to step two you actually make more than you spend step three is you're planning for the future and every month you're saving a ton of money so you have an end in sight maybe you have to work 10 more years 20 more years 30 more years this is where most of us are and most of us most of the people that come to land academy are in step three they're like, you know, I got it. I got this over here. I got a W-2 job. I don't have to, it's a job I like or, or whatever. And my expenses are where they should be, but I'm trying, I'm, now I need to bring some finality to this. Step four is I want this to end. I want, <laughs> and put your number on it. 
I want yeah. to, I don't want to do this anymore. I want to have X amount of money in the bank or in cash flowing investments like land or, or uh, apartment buildings or whatever that means to you. It's over. I don't necessarily have to get up tomorrow. It's done. And for me, that's cash in the bank. Uh, there's a lot, Jill and I have passive investments and stuff that I honestly don't really calculate or, or bank on too much. It's just cash in the bank for me. So, you know, I think most of us are in step three. Maybe some of us are still in step two. If you're listening to this, you're not going to be in, in the previous uh, stage much longer because you're thinking about it because you're in that canoe from yesterday. So you have to decide what that means. When you're, when I was really young, you know, I used the B word a lot. I, I'm going to be a billionaire. And I, mm-hmm. the older I got, the more I realized, you know what? I don't want the responsibility that comes with it, mm-hmm. the publicity, the tax, all kinds of stuff, you know. So now I know. I mean, mm-hmm. I have a very, it's taken a very decades and decades of making mistakes to really figure out X amount is just enough. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's a conversation you have to have with you and uh, probably your life partner. Hopefully you're on the same page about it. I agree. That was perfect. Thank Jill you. and I could easily, you know, I'll tell you what this, it's all expenses. Let's just, let's be, let's just be real straight about this. If your house is paid off, you don't have any car payments. You have no real expenses except probably uh, health insurance. Mm-hmm. And you have some type of revenue stream coming in. It might be from buying and selling land. It might be from a few, uh, you collect some rent from some people because you collected some properties along the way. Mm-hmm. Uh, but that's it. You know, if you're making $10,000 a month on top of what your expenses are, I would say, I think you're at stage four. Mm-hmm. I love that. I think that's perfect. That's one deal a month. I know. Half of a deal for a month. So exactly. it's very accomplishable. Thank you. It was perfect. And thank you for joining us today. Happy you were here. Five days a week, you can find us here on the Land Academy Show. Join us next week for another interesting episode. You are not alone in your real estate ambition. It was a good week. It was a good topic, Jill. Yeah, good stuff. That was a topic Jill came up with. And I, I love when you come up with your own topics because it's... um which mm-hmm. almost never happens, by the way. Yes, it does. See, I, I helped the, write this whole week. Remember uh, earlier I said this it's going to take five week. minutes. Five minutes I to wreck this. Write these. <laughs> well, then why did you wreck it? <laughs> I didn't wreck it. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. Don't wreck anything. <laughs> exactly. Skipping that. Going to the end. Ready? Three, two, one. We, we are Jack, Jack and Jill. Jill. Information. And inspiration. To buy undervalued property. We hope you find our content valuable and we appreciate your support. If you have not already, please check out our channel and hit the subscribe button. And your comments and suggestions help us uh, to create the content you're here for. Hitting the like button helps to support our channel's algorithm and gauge your interest for future shows. 